Hello, my name is Lisa Henderson. I'm a QC practicing in Scotland. I got to the bar over 25 years ago and my main practice is in the Court of Session in Edinburgh where I specialise in civil litigation. Because of the nature of my practice, I found over the years that a week doesn't go by without me having some sort of involvement with an expert. And by that I mean having a conference call with an expert, meeting an expert at conference in order to discuss the terms of their report, taking the evidence of the expert in chief or cross-examining the expert witness. Over the years, I have found that many experts instructed are very unclear as to their role and responsibilities, and particularly those who are just starting out on their career as an expert. Although a party may instruct an expert, that does not mean to say that the expert has to take the corner of those instructing them. The role of the expert is that of an independent and objective person who is there to assist the court. Many who are instructed as experts don't appreciate that their conduct in court can affect the way in which a judge perceives them and can lead to the court rejecting their evidence and preferring the computing expert. The expert who appears intransigent and aggressive under cross-examination might not be preferred. That is why, in my view, it is so important that those who are starting out on their career as expert witnesses or those who are already instructed as experts should undergo specific training about the role and the responsibilities of the expert witness to ensure they're fully aware of their duties to the court, that they understand the importance of a clear, focused, objective report, and if necessary, can present clear, focused, objective evidence in the face of rigorous cross-examination. I'm Paul Moston, Executive Director of Member Services and Engagement at the Law Society of Scotland. Expert witnesses who can competently assist solicitors and the courts in understanding technical issues are so important to the Scottish legal system. This is why the Law Society of Scotland has its Expert Witness Directory to support our members choose the right individual or individuals. These experts, of course, need to have all the right qualifications and necessary experience in their relevant field. But it can also be argued that this is not enough, and that it's just as important that they are also trained in how to write court compliant reports, give compelling, credible, and authoritative oral evidence, and understand the applicable law and procedure. We welcome the launch of this university certificated training and CPD course for expert witnesses acting in civil and criminal proceedings in Scotland from the University of Aberdeen in partnership with Bond Solon. This will provide further assistance to solicitors and their clients and the courts that experts understand their duties and responsibilities, which we expect to lead to more efficient litigation. Expert witnesses have a key role in the justice system. In many contexts, the court can reach a sound and just conclusion only if it has reliable and accurate information about some technical field of expertise relevant to the issues in dispute. In such cases, the parties also need to be properly informed about the scientific or other information necessary to understand the case. In the course of my professional career, I have seen just how essential good expert witness evidence is to the sound administration of justice. If experts are to fulfil that role, they must bring to bear not only good technical knowledge in their own field, but an appreciation of the independence and integrity with which the court expects them to approach their task. I hope that this initiative will encourage experts in many fields to take an interest in the important contribution which they can make to the administration of justice. Four days of training delivered by Bon Solon. Excellence in report writing, courtroom skills, cross-examination, law and procedure. 
The University of Aberdeen carries out assessment. The certificate is assessed in three parts and all three parts must be completed successfully within a one-year period. Part one is assessment of your expert witness report. Part two is review of your performance under cross-examination. And part three is a multiple choice examination on law and procedure. Provided a pass standard is reached in all three parts, you will then be awarded the University of Aberdeen Bon Solon Expert Witness Certificate. Demonstrate to instructing parties that you are competent to perform the role of the expert witness. Comply with the relevant law and procedure that applies to your expert witness work. Produce court compliant reports and give effective oral evidence. Market your expert witness services more effectively. Register for free on the National Register of University Certified Expert Witnesses. Take advantage of discounts for other expert witness services and products with our partners.